New at four, the man accused of murdering a North Natomas librarian in a targeted shooting faced a judge for the first time this afternoon. And the victim's family was in court for today's hearing. Thanks for joining us. I'm Tony Lopez. And I'm Adrian Moore. CBS 13's Lamor Abrams is live in downtown Sacramento with what happened in court. Lamore. Well, Adrian and Tony, just a few days after that heinous murder, the suspect is officially charged with felony murder with a special circumstance. Attorneys tell me it, it makes him eligible for life without parole or the death penalty. 56 year old Ronald Say entering the courtroom without handcuffs, standing in a metal enclosure, at first turning away from the judge and getting a glimpse of the victim's family in the crowd. The judge telling him to face forward, offering him a public defender, and reading the charges, including felony murder in the shooting death of a beloved librarian, a murder case that's shocked the community. It happened Tuesday evening. 41 year old Amber Clark was shot and killed after her shift. She was sitting in her car in the parking lot of the North Natomas Library. The suspect wore a mask and left the scene. 12 hours later, an arrest. Police taking Say into custody after a slow speed car chase nearby. Police say he was first known to officers after causing a disturbance at the library back in October and banned him from re entering after the library filed a no trespassing order. In the hallway outside the courtroom, the librarian director wouldn't elaborate on that incident to avoid jeopardizing the investigation. Right now, our minds, thoughts, and hearts are with Amber and with her husband. Clark's husband was also there too heartbroken for words. As for the suspect, he's being held here at the jail without bail. And we did put in two requests to speak with him at the jail today. He turned us down both times. But the police department, by the way, is talking. They're talking to us about how the community came together so quickly after the shooting to get a suspect in custody. And we'll have that part of the story for you at five. We look forward to that next report. Lamore, thanks so much. Live for us now.